The second commit will be me setting up a basic express app. And if I look in here, I can see that there are virtually no files in here, just my readme and my .git folder, which I'm not going to touch. The first thing I need to do to create a new express app is to do npm init. And this is going to ask me some questions to which I can just hit return. Return means yes. And then the result of doing this is that I end up with this package.json over here. So this tells people who clone down this repository in the future what different packages, gems, extensions they're going to need in order to run this. Uh, the main one is going to be express. So I'm going to do npm install dash dash save express and the advantage of doing dash dash save is that it adds express to this package.json. So now I can see that express is right there. I can also see that this node modules folder has been created that now has a whole bunch of stuff inside it including express and all of express's different dependencies. Uh, I don't want to include that node modules folder with uh, everything else in my app because it contains a whole bunch of stuff that everyone's going to download anyway as soon as they run npm install after downloading this. So I'm going to put node modules dash star inside here, inside this git ignore file. And that'll prevent me from pushing up all of my node modules to GitHub when I push to GitHub. It looks like Atom isn't updating automatically to show the things that have been git ignored, so I'm going to relaunch it, and hopefully it'll show me node modules in gray, and it does. That means it has been git ignored. The files in green are new files that have been created. Express is going to look for, by default, a file called index.js, and in here have to be a couple different things. Uh, the first one is going to be me requiring Express, so this means I'm loading the Express module. So it's going to look inside that node modules folder for a module called Express, and then it's going to save it to that variable. This next one is app. This is some boilerplate that I wouldn't worry too much about, but it's through this app variable that we're going to be really doing stuff with the app in the future. All right, the next two things are going to be me doing app.listen 3001 function, and then I'll just put a little message in here that I want to be displayed when I start up my app. So this is already actually a functioning Express app. If I go to, so I'm here in my folder, if I type node index.js, then I can see it's telling me rock on, and that actually means that my app has already started. I'm not going to use node instead, I'm going to use something called node mon, which will automatically detect any changes made to my app and will then restart whenever I make changes. Uh, this 3001, that is the port number on which my app is going to be running, and I'll show you where that 3001 comes up in a second. Now I'm going to define the first route for my app, so that is the first URL on which I want something to happen, and I'm going to start with a very simple hello world. And so my goal is that when someone goes to localhost 3001, there's that port number, slash, they see hello world, and I can see it's working right there. So this is going to be my second commit. So I'm going to git add, git commit, added basic express index.js, push that up to GitHub, and then I'll continue in my next commit.